Hey everybody, welcome to Lightspeed Tips. Today I want to show you four different methods for setting up employee pricing. So in order to set up employee pricing, we're going to have to create a customer. So let's add a new customer. So this is now our employee as a customer. So method number one is simply setting up a discount. You'll see that you can set any of your previously added discounts, but for tracking purposes, we're gonna go ahead and set up a new discount. So head on over to settings, click on discounts, and click on new discount. You can choose if you're gonna do a fixed discount or a percentage discount. It's very likely that it's gonna be a uh, percentage. And let's go ahead and just put in employee discount and we'll call it a 10% discount and we will require the customer uh, for the sale. Again, this is for tracking purposes. So we'll save the changes and this is just set up a simple 10% discount. So this is gonna discount from your default pricing level. So let's pop back over to our customer and we'll go ahead and apply the employee discount in the discount field. Now, when we check out with this customer attached, you'll see that it's applying a $20 discount to our $200 item for a total of 10% discount. If you click in on each line item, you'll see that you'll still be able to change things like price or if you want to switch to a different discount. So let's move over to method number two, setting up employee pricing by customer type. Let's click over to customers and click into customer types. You'll see that employee is already set up by default. So let's just click in and we'll add our discount. So we're gonna discount the employee by 10% and click save. Now, if we go back to our customers and search out our employees profile, let's just go ahead and change the customer type to employee and save changes. Now again, if we go back over to our sale, It is also discounting by 10% from the default price because the customer type is set up to employee. This method is also trackable in your reports, so in my opinion, it's a better and cleaner method than the one I showed you before. Now, that's of course how we discount down from our default price. What if you wanted to mark up from a cost? I'll show you two different ways of doing that. Method number three for setting up employee pricing is using a price level and using a spreadsheet like a price list. That might sound like a really tedious task, and I agree, it is, but if you're starting a store from scratch and you're entering all your price lists, it might be a method that you might wanna use, and then you can just keep updating as you do price changes and adding new products individually. You have to keep an eye on it. It's it's not the best way because it isn't automated. You, it's something that you'll manually have to maintain. But regardless, it is a method, so I will show it to you. So again, we're gonna go back over to our settings, and now you're gonna look for pricing levels. Click into pricing levels, and we'll go ahead and create a new pricing level. Let's just call this employee. The pricing level should be set up to duplicate your default price. Click Save Changes. Now, let's go in and search out a product. And you'll see that it now has a pricing level called Employee. So I'm not going to show you how to set up a spreadsheet, but basically you're going to want a column that says Price-Employee. And if you're good with spreadsheets, you'll know that you can set up a formula for that column to either discount or mark up from another column like a cost or a regular price. So when you import all of your products initially, that pricing will be there. And like I said, you'll just have to make sure that you manually maintain it over time. In my opinion, this is definitely going to be the most time consuming method and not my recommendation. Okay, and last but certainly not least, Method number four for setting up employee pricing in Lightspeed is using price rules. Setting up a price rule will automatically mark up a product to a certain price from the default cost. So head on over to settings and now you're gonna look for price rules. Click into price rules and then click new price rule. 
Let's go ahead and call this employee pricing. This is available in all of our shops and it is always on. The customer type is going to be employee. So this price rule knows that when the customer is the employee, it's going to adjust the price the way that we're going to set it up right now. One last thing that's fairly important, you're probably going to want to select this all items charges. That just means that it's going to apply this price rule for everything, for all the products and all the charges that you could possibly charge to this customer. And we're probably going to want to turn off allow discounts. That just means that you can't discount the price further than this price. This is the rock bottom price. You cannot discount further. Now let's go ahead and click save changes and then we'll set up our price adjustment. So now we're going to set up our price adjustment type. Let's click the drop down and we're going to choose markup. Click the save changes and you'll see down here we're going to go cost times 10% markup. So that's going to take your default cost on the product and let's just grab a product here to show you. So on this generic product, the default cost is $100. And we're going to do a markup of 10%. So now let's go over to a sale. See, we have our employee customer tagged here. Let's add that product. And you'll see that the product is discounted from 200 down to $110. And if we fire up a calculator, we take that $100 cost and we add 10% that gives us $110 and here on our sale we have a subtotal of $110 so that'll work on every product in the store because our customer is tagged as an employee and because our price rule of employee pricing is using that employee customer type so it'll just work for everything all the time it is trackable through your reports and it's a fantastic method Using pricing rules is definitely the method that I would recommend for setting up simple employee pricing within your shop. So anyways, that is four methods for setting up employee pricing in Lightspeed POS. I really hope this video brought you some sort of value. Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe and hit me up in the comments or send me a message. Let me know if there's any other videos that you want to see. I'd be glad to make them. Anyways, thanks again for watching. I appreciate you and I appreciate your time. Have a great day.